The statewide news network covers Kosciuszko County. We have new information about the semi-truck driver accused of driving drunk and hitting a bus full of kids in Warsaw. IT mates Cody Fisher is digging into the background of the driver, Victor Santos. Court documents show that Victor Santos had a breath alcohol content of 0.13% when he was booked into the Kosciuszko County Jail following the accident that sent several teens to the hospital. Officers who responded to this crash say Victor Santos stumbled out of the cab of his semi-truck moments after he plowed into the school bus full of hockey players from St. Ignatius College Prep in Chicago. While talking to Santos, officers could smell alcohol on his breath. The police report shows Santos failed all three parts of the field sobriety test, and his breath alcohol content was .13. The legal limit is .08. Right now, he's being charged with 26 felonies, one for every passenger that was on board the school bus. Officers interviewed two different drivers who saw Santos driving erratically moments before the crash. One driver says Santos forced them off the side of the road as he passed them on US 30. Moments later, that same driver saw Santos approaching a red light. His brake lights lit up briefly before heading into the intersection without slowing down, crashing into the school bus that was turning with a protected left turn arrow. The school bus was flipped onto its side. When righted, you could see all of the windows were shattered. Two of the hockey players on the bus are still in the hospital with serious injuries, according to St. Ignatius College Prep. And so whatever the brokenness in this gentleman's life, whatever caused him to make these decisions and so forth, we pray for him and hope that he will get the treatment that he needs uh, to be able to uh, to move on in, uh, in life. The president of the private Catholic school in Chicago says their community is not angry with Santos. We come from an environment of our Christian upbringing that, you know, somewhere along the line, uh, forgiveness and healing is important. The probable cause affidavit shows that Santos is also a registered sex offender in New York State. In 1999, he was convicted of raping a minor. Santos has an active commercial driver's license out of the state of New York. I've requested his driving record from the Department of Motor Vehicles there, but I haven't gotten a response yet. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, IT Mate.